All right, what is up everybody? Baird here. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. And in today's video, we are going to be creating a video ad for a product. I'm going to find a product on Facebook. I'm going to scroll through my Facebook feed, find a product that I think is a winning product, find a winning ad, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my own version of that ad right here, step by step, right in front of you guys. So get comfortable, get ready because it's going to be a great video. Let's do it. So now it's time to hop into my Facebook feed and find a winning product. All right, so I'm scrolling through my Facebook feed. I have my Turbo Ad Finder on, guys. This is a great Google Chrome extension you can add. It's free. Basically, what it does is it filters out every single post on Facebook that is not an advertisement. So when I scroll down, I will only see ads, as you guys can see right here. So let's go to the top and let's see some products, I guess. Let's start scrolling. I've seen this product a lot. This is a outdoor wireless camera. All right, we're scrolling. Now this muscle gun, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of this muscle gun. So this could definitely be an option. I'm gonna go over here and just click on open link a new tab just to see that if we want that as an option. But we are going to keep on scrolling and make sure that we, <laughs> what is this? Astro rabbit carrier back. Well, if you have a rabbit, this could be some pretty specific targeting. You just <laughs> target people who are interested in bunnies. That's funny, this is meant to be a cat carrier backpack. I'm pretty sure I saw this as a cat carrier backpack first, but I guess it's a bunny carrier now. You know, this video could be a product research video too, now that we think about it. Um, all right, let's keep scrolling. Another muscle gun ad. You know what? This is just the universe telling me to run an ad for muscle guns. So we're going to make a muscle gun ad, okay? That's what we're doing today, everybody. This is actually a really cool product. It's a high ticket product. We can get this for around, I think, 40 or $50 on AliExpress. And we can sell it for around $140 to $150, maybe even in some cases $250 plus. I've seen some stores selling this that are selling it for around $250. So the margins are great. I think this actually, this T version is around $90 on AliExpress, but through my sourcing agency, we can get this for a lot, lot less. But I think we've found the product that we wanted to run ads with or create an ad with first. So let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna click on this one website right here, and then I'm gonna go over here to Your Nice Day, and I'm gonna see what kind of ads they're running. Go to Page Transparency. I'm gonna go to, go to Ad Library, and now we can see exactly what kind of ads they're running. I'm gonna do that again with this store right here, Active Freeze, open a new tab. I'm gonna bring this over here, I'm gonna go to Ad Library, and now we're going to see their ads. So they're running ads for a couple of different things, some furniture, but it looks like this muscle gun is doing pretty well for them. So let's look at the ad they have right now. It's 26 seconds. Yeah, I don't see any text, I don't see any captions, I don't see any call to actions, I don't see any reasons why this muscle gun is so amazing. I just see a leg and somebody using the muscle gun. So if that can sell a product right there alone, then we can definitely sell the product, especially by adding our own captions and our own, our own reasoning to show the customer and give the customer reasons why this product is amazing. So this is actually an amazing video because it does not have any text in it. So if we wanted to, we could just save this video. I'm gonna name it muscle gun one and we're gonna keep on scrolling see if they have any other videos that also do not have text looks like this one does not have text in it this oh actually you know what it does it reduces soreness and speed of the recovery okay so some of their videos are really good you know like the, the not the whole video but some clips in these videos are amazing clips that we can add to our own video so I'm gonna save this save video call it muscle gun two and then we're gonna look at this one right here so that's a cool video, but the quality of this video is absolutely horrible, so I'm not going to touch it. It looks like it was shot through a potato, and um, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for high quality imagery, high quality photos, I mean high quality videos, and not this. Okay, so we have a couple videos from this one website right here. Now I can exit out of that. All right, so now we can go to this other page that I found on Facebook, and you can see that they have some images, actually. They're not only doing video ads, they're doing image ads. And actually, looks like, oh no, never mind. I was gonna say they're only doing image ads, but I didn't scroll down enough. They're using the muscle gun on a horse. I guess this muscle gun works on every being. This is cool though, because like you look at the image and you're like, wow, that's that's gonna stop me from scrolling right there. That's cool, you know? Now these guys have reasons why this muscle gun is so amazing. They've got lightweight, easy to use. Um, they got different, you know, ultra silent muscle massage device. Oh, it's a 17 second video, but it's performing very, very well for them. You can see right here, this guy's flexing pretty hard, helps re relieve muscle pain and soreness. It gives you reasons why this product is amazing. New generation muscle device, cutting edge quiet vibration technology. Now this is changing slides really, really fast. These are great videos, but they have a lot of text in them, so we're not going to use it. They've got their logo in it, so we can't really use that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're gonna go on YouTube and we're gonna find this one product right here. And we're gonna try to find clips that like the first clips we found do not have any text in them, are really high quality, and show the product in use. So once we do that, we can begin making our video. So let's do that. I'm gonna go to YouTube. Here we go. 
I'm gonna click on a couple videos so we can have multiple videos to look at. So this is a really cool video because um, this is an example of what we want to create our ad. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Animoto. That is the video editing software we're going to use for this video. I personally always use Adobe Premiere Pro just because I've been editing videos on Adobe Premiere Pro for the past three, four years now and I just, I know how to use it. And I can do a lot more in Adobe Premiere Pro. So that's what I like to use. But in the meantime, for you guys, for your sake of education, we're going to be using Animoto. All right, so I'm gonna exit out of these tabs that we do not need anymore. Exit out, exit out. I'm gonna keep these two up just because I wanna see what their ad copy is, what they have for the description and everything. But I'm gonna exit out of every tab we do not need. All right, so when you go to Animoto, they will give you some options to choose from when you wanna make your video ad. So maybe you're making an ad for an agency, you want a different video ad, obviously, or template than a video if you want to promote a product. So there's all these different templates you can choose from. Event recap, new launch promo, property listing, tell a travel story, recipes, all that. I'm not going to use any of them. I'm going to start from scratch just because I don't really want a template. But if you are just beginning, then a template could help you out a lot. All right, so once we've chosen our template, now we have to choose our video style. So all these are different types of uh, fonts, coloring, transitions, and effects that we can choose from. So you can see clean cut, bulk slate, glamour, maybe uh, maybe we want something like standout or, um, I think standout or bold would be really good. And it's cool because it shows you some actual videos of this new. So I like standout a lot more than bold. So I'm gonna click on that. And this is gonna be square because we're doing it for a Facebook and Instagram ad. We're not going to do landscape. Choose style. Once we've chosen our style, we're gonna wait a couple seconds. All right, so once it got it ready for us, we're gonna click on start. We'll actually, I'm not gonna click on start. I'm gonna click on skip because I know how to do this. But if you're new, then I suggest you guys take the little tour, but we're gonna skip that for now. I'm gonna show you guys. First things first, we need to add our video. So one thing I noticed over all of these different pages promoting this one product right here is their best selling or their best performing ads are usually a lot shorter than a minute. They're usually around 17 seconds to 30 seconds. So that's what we're going to aim in this video. We want to have a shorter video. The longer the video, then you can kind of start scaring customers away the more information you give them that they don't necessarily need so if we can just spark interest get them curious and make them want to click on that link then that is our goal for this one ad obviously we want them to click on the link to buy and then on our website we can tell them more so we're gonna to want to have a 15 to 30 second video like I mentioned now we probably have around three minutes worth of footage if not more so we're gonna to need to do some cutting down well so I'm gonna click on add block click on video and then I'm going to drag my video into here and then in this we're going to click edit so when you add the whole video to a slide or a block, it's going to give you the whole video. So one thing we have to do is click on trim, and then we're going to want to find a first three second starter for this one product. So let me add some more blocks. I'm gonna add another block, video, video, and then we're gonna add these two videos in there as well. And then whichever video has the best eye stopper or scroll stopper, I'm gonna add that in the beginning. So I think this right here is a really good scroll stopper because this guy looks like he's in pain. It just doesn't look like he's having a great time. I would stop scrolling because I'm interested to see what that machine is being pressed up against his arm and why is he wincing in pain. So I'm gonna click on this one video. We're gonna trim it down from 20 seconds. Click on trim and we're gonna find right here. There we go. I'm gonna keep those three seconds of him going, oh God, yeah. And then boom, apply. Now that is our first three seconds of the video. I'm gonna click on play, make sure it's good. Okay, so there's not gonna be any audio in it right now because we're just getting the clip trimmed, but that is exactly what we want. I'm gonna click on close. Now this is our first two seconds. I'm gonna drag that to the beginning. And that's our storyboard. It's super easy to move videos around. It's super easy to edit videos. It's super easy to add text to the videos. But right now, let me continue just getting this video laid out and then we'll add text after all that's said and done. Let's click on add block. This whole video is just one girl doing it on her legs. It's literally the whole video. So I'm gonna add this right here. We're gonna trim it down though for around five seconds. We're gonna move on this video. This video is a really good video. This is the video that we're going to be using a lot of different slides from because of just the amount of different shots that they have. So click on 56 seconds or 51 seconds, trim. And I don't really like this clip right here, so we're not going to add that immediately. We're gonna find a better clip. Um, let's see, right here. Nope, um, right here, perfect. These right here, perfect. Boom, right there. There to around, we want this to be, what is that? There we go. This is gonna be a 10 second clip, but it's 10 seconds because there's already 10 seconds of a lot of different shots being shown to the customer. So it's not 10 seconds of one single shot. It's two seconds here, three seconds here, three seconds here, two seconds here, basically. So we've got that. Now we've got to add another block. So right now we're working with 17 seconds. So we want to add another 20, maybe 10 seconds or so. 
So I'm gonna click on this one video right here. We're gonna drag that back, click on trim, and then we're gonna find another part of the video to add. All right, so I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna cut it right about there. Now we're working with 27 seconds. Let's see what this video looks like without any, you know, any captions, any text, anything like that. It'll take a couple seconds for the video to be compiled, but once it's done, then we'll, we'll get to see the actual video. So let's see what this video looks like. It's got the person using it. Now the, the music and the audio isn't synced too. There's different videos, so obviously there's going to be different types of audio in those videos. After we get this video set up, everything how we want it laid out, then we're gonna go ahead and actually change the audio. I like how that layout is. Now I'm going to add one block and usually just add a little call to action or something, a little text block, oh, logo, and then right here I add my logo. I could do, all right, so imagine this is a black background or a white background, we'll click on white right here, just so it goes with the product. This is where we could add this to the end and then a little text saying, you know, buy here our website. So before I do that, I'm gonna start adding text to the beginning and then we'll go ahead and add text to the whole video. I'm not going to add any text to this because it's a really good scroll stopper. I'm going to start adding text on the second one. So we click on text up here, title. You see if I type, start typing stuff in, it'll pop up right there. Muscle gun, no, I'm actually gonna do that at the top. Introducing the Muscle Gun Pro. And you can move it around in here as you guys can see as well. I can click on this and bring it down here. So there's a lot of open space on here. So it looks really good down there. So introducing the Muscle Gun Pro. So you can change colors if you want to change the color of the text, color of your subtitle, the size, all that you can change. So I'm gonna have this right here. I'm gonna click on save, just because we want to make sure everything is saved. Now in this next slide is where I want to start actually adding reasons why this product is amazing. So they see the scroll stopper, they see the introducing Muscle Gun Pro for five seconds or so, and then they see all these uses of the Muscle Gun Pro. I might actually cut this video up into two five second clips just because one thing you have to do is for each block, for each block you can only get one slide of text. So this is a 10 second block. One thing I forgot to mention was that now you can only put one slide of text in this 10 second block. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to make this into two five second blocks so I can add more text. So I'm going to edit this, I'm going to scale out, I'm going to trim it, actually even more. There we go, apply, exit. Now this is five seconds, I'm going to edit this again and then right where that picked up I'm going to start with this. So trim and then this one ended right about here. So I'm going to start right here. And then I'm going to end right about here. Wait, right here. There we go, apply. So now that I can click X on that, and that's gonna be five seconds. I'm gonna add a block, and then I'm gonna add those two blocks, or the two parts of the videos that we did not, or that we had to get rid of because it was too long. So slide this in here, add another block, slide this in here, and now we're going to edit this. We're gonna trim it, and we're gonna get this last little bit that we had to cut out. So right about here is where we started. I'm gonna to go to the beginning of this clip. Boom, and then I'm gonna end it right about here. Okay, so we're gonna have that clip. Now this is going to be a, actually that's our 10 second clip. We're gonna make that a little bit shorter because that's too long. All right, right here. And then our last little clip is going to be that last bit. So four seconds, and then finally, last but not least, right about here, we're gonna end it right about here, okay. And then we're gonna add our last little slide at the very end, because that's how we want it to be. Oh, I did not do that. Okay, we're gonna add our slide right here, right here. Bada boom, bop, bang. Now let's look at our preview one more time before we start adding text. If you guys are enjoying this, just while we're waiting, if you could like this video, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'd appreciate that. So I'm gonna mute the music because we don't need that. It's all mumble jumbled right now. Introduce the muscle gun, some fast shots of it, people using it. You know, it says Animoto trial because I'm on the trial. But I think it's like 20 bucks a month or something like that. If you want to, you can click the link down in the description if you want to use this. 
Now this is a very fast paced ad that we want that's perfect and then it's going to end with our little boom muscle gun right there I'm gonna add a little call to action down below and that will be the ad. So we've got the first beginning right here introducing the muscle gun pro. Now we add this right here. Let's do text and then we can do all right so I could say like helps relieve muscle pain and I'm gonna do a little and symbol and soreness. I'm gonna click on edit actually because I want this to be higher. Edit. We're gonna make this down below actually in the middle. Click X. Next clip, we're going to do another reason why we think this product is amazing. So let's just say it could improve circulation. Improves, do not spell it right, improves. Improve circulation and muscle recover. Boom, I'm gonna click on edit. Bring this down too so we can see that and see the video in use. And then we're going to have, let's see. This one I could do helps improve range of motion, I believe. Say so helps improve range of motion. Mo motion, there we go. Bring this down to the side. Close, last but not least. Well, actually, second to last but not least. And then this could be quiet, light, and easy to use. I'm gonna click on edit, bring this down so we can see that. And then last but not least, we're going to add our call to action, which is going to be our shop now. So click, if this was a Facebook ad, I could do click learn more, click shop now. If this was an Instagram ad, I could do click the link in our bio, something like that. But it all depends on your objective of your campaign, I guess. So I could do, right now I could do click shop now, to get yours 50% off today. Boom. All right, so now we have our finished video. So let's look at it. Let's click on save because we want to save it. Storyboard is 29 seconds. And let's look at the preview. Oh, wait, hold, 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 hold up. Hold up now. Hold up now. We did not add music. One thing we need to do to all of these videos is to mute it. All right, that's enough cringe for now. So uh, we're gonna use that video because we're just using it as an example. Let's click on this, let's click on trim song, and then let's click on from here to here. Let's wait, we want 20 seconds. Let's do the first 20 seconds, 29 seconds, 30 seconds right there. Let's click on apply, boom. Now let's save, and then let's click on our preview and see what the final product looks like. That wasn't too difficult, was it? We did that in what, 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so? Took me around 10 minutes. So while we wait for the preview, let's go. Do some push-ups. Whenever it's ready. Oh, yeah. we're good. Oh, okay, I messed up. <laughs> we gotta get rid of the audio first before that, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on edit for these videos. I'm gonna click on, where is it? Um, sound off, sound needs to be off on all these videos. So we're gonna go to the first one, sound off, next one, sound off, next one. Sound off, next one, sound off, next one, sound off, next one, sound off. I'm gonna cut this and we're good. Okay, make sure to change the color of your text. Color is going to, oh, that's background. Um, for our text, the color is going to be black. So, boom, there we go. And now we're ready, click on save, click on preview, and then I'll show you guys the final version and then we'll be done, that'll be it. Okay, we got the scroll stopper, introducing the Muscle Gun Pro. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Helps, I, uh, I can't see it, relieve muscle pain and soreness. Improve circulation and muscle recovery. Helps improve range of motion. Quiet, light, and easy to use. And boom, click shop now to get yours 50% off today. That's pretty much it. Now that is basically how you create a video ad. It's very simple. Now we are putting ourselves so much further ahead of all of our competitors by creating our own content. Now when I say creating our own content, first off, we're not using our own content, we're using content that we already have online. So some of this has already been seen in ads, but we have our own very unique video. It's not just a copy paste version of somebody else's Facebook ad that everybody has already seen before. This is our own unique version of three or four different ads, our own captions, our own descriptions, our own music, and all that really just helps out in showing your customer something new, showing your customer a new video of the product. Because if they've seen the same video over and over and over again, that does not give you the upper hand. So if you create your own video, 
film your own content, that'll give you a huge upper hand because nobody would have seen this video content that you'd be posting out in this one ad. So if you do all that and then make it in the Animoto Project video, it's very simple. You just saw me make this one video ad in around 20 minutes or so. I'm not sure how long this video is, but it is a very simple process. It's not rocket science. You just make the ad, cut the clips. They do a really good job of helping you cut the clips, add your text, add your call to action, and boom, you're done. So that's pretty much for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out creating some video ads. I really hope you guys can now go ahead and kill the video ad game, go out there, go on Animoto, find some products, find some videos, cut them up, add your own unique twist to it, add some cool uh, captions, some cool videos, some cool imagery, and make it yours. And then go out there, sell the heck out of it, and make a lot of money. So that's gonna sum up for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. I'm going to be making videos a lot more often now. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any anything, just write it down in the comments down below, or you can message me on Instagram right here, and I'll get back to you. I read every single DM that I get. So. If you really want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, then Instagram DM is the way to go. Now, thank you guys for watching one more time. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.